Okay, so anyway, I was just telling Deco. Uh, no, it's just like they say in the commercials, if you have your own business, then you can make your own hours. And uh, so I like the bus, I'm not burnt out on it. It is a living and it, it gives me opportunity to, to uh, do other projects, you know, like theater projects. Actually, the bus itself is a work of art, so you know it's a constant, constant relationship to the bus as a work of art. You know, it was originally created as a work of art back in 1990. It's the oldest rolling. It was created for the Day of the Dead to pay, pay homage to Mexican bus drivers. So it's like the oldest rolling Day of the Dead altar, I think, anywhere in the world. If you really think of it that way. And then it's also, yeah, so then the other one is more of um, my bus, so the Lola bus, the second bus, has my own, you know, it's more my take on it instead of the original bus. And so, um, where, where, what would you like to see happen in your future, maybe with or without the bus? Or? Well, in terms of the bus, you know, like right now I'm, I'm rearranging it a little bit. I'd like to continue doing more art on the bus. Uh, we're doing a theater on the bus. We've done two tours with Guillermo Gómez Peña, Culture Clash. And so I want to keep that kind of art thing going. Uh, we just did a thing with the new um, Noodle Factory in Oakland. We're working with the uh, Oakland Public Theater. I would like to do, just continue to do things like that. I, I would really like to one day do a Yellow Submarine on the bus. I'd like to do uh, puppetry on the bus. I would like to do things like that. I, we, it's taken a long time to like put biodiesel, you know, to get make a relationship where it's biodiesel, so it's more friendly environmentally, and I don't feel so weird about the diesel. And so there's a lot of a lot of things happening under the hood, as well as in terms of the art.